news that they could allegedly be involved in what has been widely labeled as a cult must have come as a shock to the approximately 300 members of the Finger of God Church led by Apostle Joseph Helen, the jazz musician. A congregation that is mostly characterized by young members and local celebrities. A cult is a secret organization. Our church has been meeting publicly in places that are accessible. According to a former apostle of the church, Mark Bichachi, the finger of God may not have been a cult initially, at least not until about a month ago when he left. Bichachi says he was third in command before he was excommunicated from the church after he approached Helen on some of the practices. Because the church needs to realize that up to 98% of what they learned at finger of God is okay. The 2% that is wrong is wrong with an individual, it's not wrong with a church. Things began heading south when a gentleman known as Quincy Wambita Timberlake, a musician, came into the picture on a leadership role in the church. Mark says that when he took to the pulpit, the leadership of the church doubted his doctrine and that of Helen thereafter. For example, people were eating certain herbs to improve uh, performance in bed. Benny Hinn speaking through uh, the, the preacher, someone saying that um, I'm standing here, but Benny Hinn is speaking through me. Benedictus Hinn has been my spiritual leader since 1997. I preach the messages he preaches. He sends me books and materials to preach on. Mark says attempts to talk to Helen about these flawed ideologies from Quincy and them a kick out the door of the Finger of God Church. In as far as his position of leadership in the church is concerned, I don't think that's anyone's business whatsoever. Point we tried to stop it as best we could. We stepped in way, way earlier, uh, probably um, two, three days after Quincy um, showed up. It is only when former TV news anchor Esther Arunga distanced herself from her family, quit her job, and broke off her engagement with her fiance, allegedly under instructions from Helen, that the spotlight turned on the church. If this situation was allowed to continue as it is for a number of times, the church would turn to a cult. Already the congregation of the church has disintegrated based on all these allegations. The church that was registered three years ago had a leadership committee of 23 members. More than 10 have since resigned. When there was a press between, nothing went wrong. What then happens to the confused congregation? There is nothing, there is no bloodletting going on. Uh, people need to know that uh, people are fine. People are fine. There's uh, mistakes definitely that have happened. That is obvious to everyone. But such things can be corrected. It is also emerging that the church has no affiliation with the Finger of God Ministries International in other parts of the world like South Africa, Nigeria and the United States. Olivia Ketch, Sunday Live.